we're moving books. And you can see It's definitely a lot of books. This is really the first load out of hopefully only a couple loads. One at least, but most likely at least two more loads of that cart are going to have to make their way down here so that we can fill up these three spaces in the new office. But speaking of which, I really feel like this whole look is starting to really come together down here and be pretty cool. We gotta shuffle things and obviously clean up and make it look better. But we've got the bookshelves in the corner, which I think will look better once there's actually books on them. Right now, it's so dark in that corner, it almost looks like just dark stuff. But there we go. The camera adjust. Books in the corner. We've got a painting on the wall now. The walls are much more painted than the last time you saw it. So things are really coming together. But we have a lot more books to bring down here. We may have a problem with how many books that we have. Just a little one. Just a little one. <laughs> I think we may need a couple more shelves. <laughs> Maybe we just need to make this the library and do the whole back wall back here, all of them being books. many movies or this many DVDs. I think maybe we need to go through the DVDs that we don't watch anymore and get rid of some of them. But we do have a ton of books. But the thing about books is that they're just fun. It's fun to go places and buy books because they're not expensive. You can get them at thrift stores. You can get them at used bookstores. And so we go places and we just find books that we think are cool and that we like and that we want to read and then we buy them. And then obviously you get to read books. And so a lot of these books, maybe not all these books, but a lot of these books we've read, we've gone through, and now we just like to have them. And personally, I also just don't do as well in a digital copy of books. I'm really like a hard, a hardback version of a book. If I'm going to read a book, I'm going to do a lot better to hold it. And I think it has to do with being able to see how much do I have left. Because part of the fun of reading a book is finishing the book. And that's just something that I really enjoy, but now we get to get to the not fun part and put all these books back on the bookshelf. What's interesting though is that I think that using the cart was probably the best option that we had in moving all these books, but I still don't think it was the best option just that you could have had. I think this was still kind of a pain, but I really don't know if there's a better way. And I also now don't look forward to the day that we have to move these books maybe to another house and have to take them back up. Coming down the hill, is easy. Going back up the hill, I doubt that it's going to be as easy as that was. So you would think that moving all the books physically would be the hard part. No. But I don't feel like that's what's difficult. I feel like it's putting all the books on the shelf that's difficult. Yes. Yes, 100%. Decorating the shelves with the books is the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> it's just trying to figure out where you want everything to go. But we're slowly making it through the pile. If you can see, that's probably where the thumbnail came from. <laughs> but things are coming together. One thing that I really like with the whole book collecting thing, and the things that I lean more toward when we're buying books and getting more books, is old books. And I've talked about that in the vlog where we went to Chattanooga. It was, I think, like the third week of the Daniel Fast, and I bought some really cool old books. Those books are actually upstairs, which we'll need to get into because we actually have even more books that are upstairs and are staying upstairs. These are just the office books. But anyway, I really love old books. I love the look of old books. I love the wisdom and knowledge that you can find in old books. And as well as old Bibles. And one thing that you get with old books is something like it's in this old Bible here. Let's see if it'll focus. Just a clipping. And it's, I guess, an article from a newspaper or another book. But it's got just little poems on it that somebody clipped out and just put in this Bible 
And then of all books in Lamentations, I'm going to have to look at this at some point and figure out why they put this here. But that's one thing I love about getting old books in the Bibles is the notes that you find in the margins, is the things that were written in them. And like this Bible, for instance, was given to somebody back in 1957, which is pretty cool. But that's just one of my favorite things is the old books and the old Bibles. And he's found his Bible that we got him when he was uh, still in his mommy's belly, I guess. Yeah. His baby Bible that's uh, neat. So he's been looking through that and enjoying that a whole lot. Yes. So I did a bad job of explaining, like, my favorite books. So what are your favorite books? Books? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a great answer. It's not. <laughs> I feel like the shelf you're working on captures yeah. the books that you like. Yeah. I I enjoy reading uh, nonfiction. That's the right word, right? You prefer fiction. Daddy fiction. Because fiction is things that aren't true. Fiction's fake. <laughs> nonfiction's not fake. <laughs> I get the two mixed up all the time. But, so yeah, I prefer that. Um, the Ted Decker and Frank Pretty books, which we have a ton of, and yeah. Uh, they're really good because it's all Christ-centered. It all has a nice Christian theme to all of them, but it's a nice, interesting story to go around. So, so I'm going to give you the option. Are you going to be real in this video and keep that in where you said you didn't know the difference between fiction oh, and Oh, yeah. Novel? Go for it. <laughs> I do also really enjoy... I'm going to restart that. I do also really enjoy doing the fiction books as well. Like the... Uh, whoops. I just saw it a second ago. The... Left Behind? Left Behind series. Wow, now I'm looking smart. That's what I get for making fun. The Left Behind series is one of my favorites to read through. It's all about the end times, which sounds like it wouldn't be your favorite, but the storyline and, and how it depicts what's going to happen when Jesus returns is so good and so captivating. And I'm over halfway through. It's like a 12-book series, so it's one of those things that's super long, but is super worth it and enjoyable, really, to read. So I like the fiction, but I have a hard time passing up on all the great non-fiction things and I often feel like it's a better use of my time personally though it's a great way to learn and know how to tell a story uh, as a minister and things like that by reading fiction books so you really got to find the balance in books but like she said I think really she is right we just love all books and I think I think you're right I think we do need another bookshelf at least one more but not not for the reasons you're thinking oh but if we get more bookshelves that means I can do more books <laughs> Well, if we get another bookshelf, then we can make the books look prettier. So. Okay, so you're saying we need a lot more bookshelves. <laughs> Got it. Your birthday's coming up. I it know is. what to get you. <laughs> hmm. well, obviously, we're not completely done yet, but I do think that, that makes the room look a whole lot better. And just really, I think, adds some great places to kind of just sit down and be able to film and talk to the camera, especially as we like accent light and just really make it, I don't know, just more. Like as we get the lighting and things situated, because right now like the overhead that's on above me is so bright that it kind of blows things out. There we go. But I think that's going to be a pretty cool background. And it's nice to have all the books down here where I'm going to be doing a lot of study. Now, that being said, I really need to clean up this space and figure out some organi organization stuff. I think I'm about to bring the desk down here as well because I just want it to look like the office space that it's supposed to look like, as you would have seen in one of the videos we recently did. But I'm so glad to have the books here and have them organized. There's still some decoration type stuff we need to do on top and right there, but we're really making some good progress and I'm Super excited and super happy with how it's turning out so far. Alright, it's been a couple days. I actually had some friends come over. Um, so I didn't end up finishing this video the other day. But we did get all the books set up. And there's actually a good amount of empty space now down here at the bottom of the bookshelves. Because I took a bunch of the things that just aren't going to get used as much. Like paper and like things that really just need to stay upstairs. I went ahead and just took those out, but we've got the bookshelves set up. We also have a bunch of books upstairs that we're going to leave upstairs because those are things that we're either actively reading or things that 
sometimes you just want to be able to reference books in multiple areas. But we do have the space set up more, and we actually have the desk, the roll top desk that was in our room. We brought that down with the desk. So I really think the setup is starting to look pretty good back there. Let's see if we can get just what it actually looks like. I know you're loving the shaky footage right now, but if we get down at the right angle, that's what our background is going to look like. I think it's great. And plus, pretty soon, once we obviously finish painting this section of the wall, I'll be able to bring my desk down, have my big actual desk from upstairs down here. We'll get the rolling TV stand for that TV to where we'll be able to move it back and forth and be able to have just the whole full setup down here where we'll be able to actually utilize all these study resources. And if you look at the bookshelf, that's a big part of what we have back here is a lot of just hard copies of study resources. So up here we have like smaller, different, like nonfiction study type books. We have a whole commentary set here actually, except missing the 12th one. So all the, the few last books of the New Testament we're missing. Then just a plethora of study Bibles and bigger study resources. Over here, more smaller God-focused books. Almost every Bible translation in a physical copy that you can have. A really cool old Bible. And then the fiction side. All of books that, most all of these books that we've actually already read. But it was quite the challenge, as I'm sure we talked about. I can't really remember everything that we said in the previous video. But it was quite a challenge to get all these down here. But now they're here. It really just makes us want some more books. Maybe another shelf right here something and in the future though we do still have that plan for a library upstairs if we ever get the opportunity to do that so we're always on the lookout for more books and it's great to have opened up space on these shelves after sorting through things and the crazy thing is is i don't know if i can find it oh yeah there's books that i forgot we even had like i'm not a hundred percent what this one's all about but i forgot that we even had this book and so just moving all these books and getting to look through them has reminded me of books that we have on the shelf which is pretty cool and so it's great to see this place coming together and actually being able to use it like i said i recorded the podcast our mic arms came in last week so i was able to use that definitely check out this week's episode of the more god less me podcast and let me know what you think about it let me know how it turned out if you guys liked the backdrop if you liked just the whole setup and how we're doing everything i think it's awesome that this place is coming together and I even, when my friends came over, like I mentioned, we had the ability to use it for part of what we wanted to. And so as the guys came over, we were able to escape downstairs. We came down here and we actually pulled out the old vintage game consoles, which is something that I don't do very often at all. But it was cool to pull these things out and to have the opportunity to play with them. Just an old PlayStation 2 and an NES, some various games and things. And so it was nice to be able just to pull those things out and enjoy them and get to use them but i'm glad to have the book collection down here if you guys want to know more about the books if you want me to go in depth about the books i actually want to make a video a lot more in depth about old books and the reason that i enjoy old books so much and so that'll probably be a video we've got to make some 40 some odd more videos this year and so that's probably going to be a video at some point but if you're interested in it definitely let me know and we'll make sure to make it sooner but it's just great to see the whole space coming together becoming the office that i want it to be and getting these books down here moving the whole collection was a big part of that. I wish I had gotten on camera moving the actual bookshelves, but we did it at night and my brother was here helping me. And so we just didn't have the opportunity to pull the camera out like we would have wanted to and things like that. I also think this is going to be the longest single clip that I've ever put in one video. And so that I don't ramble anymore. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Be sure to check out our podcast. Be sure to check out our social medias because we're going to be trying to do more on that as well. And we just thank you guys for watching these videos. If you have any tips, recommendations, or anything that you want to see, just let us know, and we'll be sure to add that in the next video. Until we see you again, God bless.